everybody, welcome back to Tilson Home Tours. I'm here today with Anne, and we are gonna be talking about her gorgeous Granbury E home here in Fayette County. So, for starters, let's talk about the outside. When you roll up, this is not your typical white farmhouse. No, it's not. It's called In the Navy. Yes. But um, we love it, it's dark blue, it's dramatic, and... And it goes really well with the stone. Because mm -hmm. there's kind of like that gray blue tone in some of the rocks, and when you have the rock next to the navy siding, it just, it it's so, oh, it just flows. <laughs> it's beautiful. Yes, thank you, we love it. What made you pick the Granberry plan? Uh, well, we scoured all of the Tilson plans mm -hmm. for a long, long time. This is not the first house we built, but it will be the last. And so we made sure all of our have-to-haves and our absolute don't want kind of things were mm -hmm. in the right plan. We went to Bernie, we looked at all the models that Tilson had, and then Monday my husband was just scouring through the plans and he goes, I found it. Yeah, and, and that wraparound porch on the front, tell me a little bit about that. Was that a That was have a have-to-have, have. Have. yep, because it faces the setting sun, and yes. so that's where we love to sit in the evenings and just watch the gorgeous sunset. Oh, that, I love that. And then when you come inside, it's so open and welcoming, and then you've got this very grand kitchen. So tell yes. me a little bit about your kitchen. Uh, well, we like to entertain. Mm -hmm. So everyone gathers in the kitchen. So we knew we needed a big open kitchen. Yes. And uh, we have uh, four kids. So when just the six of us gather, there's always a couple people cooking and a couple people sitting in the chairs. Yeah, and there's definitely of plenty of seating all throughout mm -hmm. here. And then I love this personally. Thank you. This stone arch, it just, it makes everything in the kitchen feel that much more elevated and it's such an easy addition. Mm -hmm. So we found the arch, like I said, we scoured every plan that mm -hmm. Tilson had and looked at all the pictures, all the galleries and stuff like that. And then we just went through and picked out the things we loved. Yeah. The stone like, arch we'll was in that. one plan. <laughs> the uh, cabinet wall was in one plan. Yeah. And we literally came to Eric and said, this is what we want. You're like, I want this. Put from it this together. House this from this house. Yeah, I love the cabinet space that you have in here. I mean, there's storage everywhere everywhere yes. you look and yes. then over here we've got your your husband's bar area yes this is um you know when you when people gather we um you know we like to have a glass of wine we like to have a little uh libations mm -hmm. and so this is where my husband greets all the guests yeah and gets i love the party started i love the built-ins that you did here with kent moore i mean this little wine rack we don't see a lot of them so i like that you guys chose that mm -hmm. it's, it's really cool to see in person yep and then Love we've it. got your nice little breakfast area oh, yes. that opens up onto your awesome outdoor space. Yes, that's that's definitely one of our high points. Um, the weather in Texas is just perfect for yes. it. I mean, we have a couple months where it's not great to sit out there, but the rest of the time of the year it's perfect. We've oh, got yeah. great big fans put up there to keep the air moving when it's warm out. And mm -hmm. That's where we gather. Well, let's mosey on into the living room. All right, here we go. All right, so this living room originally was just open and plain and then you added all of these after the fact, correct? Yes, I am a, a collector of life and uh, so we needed shelves to put out all my things that we've collected through our travels, our kids. Yeah, So when you've made it so homey, I mean when you walk in here you've got this, this really pretty stain on the beam, you've got huge windows that look out onto your back patio. Mm -hmm. and this is, this whole area is just what it's the epitome of a great room. I mean, you've got yes. room for everybody when you're entertaining. Yep. And it's just Definitely. It's so homey. I love it. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. We we love it. We really do. We enjoy it. We, like I said, we love entertaining, mm -hmm. and that's all we've done for six months that we've yeah. had. So. <laughs> and tell me a little bit about the color selections. The flooring that you picked is a really nice tone. You know, I... We looked at the selection center at the Katie office and looked and looked and looked and my husband was finally the, we're going to do the black cabinets and mm -hmm. I'm like, okay, that wasn't the direction <laughs> we originally were planning on going because he likes color uh -huh. and so we were even looking at the blue cabinets and yeah. then he was like, no, we're going to do blue outside, we're black inside and so uh, my daughter flew in from LA and the house was built around the black cabinets mm -hmm. and the gray just worked perfect because it's got the black in it and it just picks it up and brings out the color. Yeah, it so. really just goes with everything that you've picked. I I love the tone, I love the cabinets, even the backsplashes, the, both of them. 
that you picked, mm -hmm. they're, they just turned out amazing. Yeah, thank you. And Ooh, then you kind yeah. of continue the same color scheme throughout, mm -hmm. correct? And so let's go check out the laundry room because I think I see a little okay. bit different color going <laughs> on in there. Well, it's more blue, so. Yes. All right, I love the location of your laundry room. Yes, it was one of the must-haves when we picked the Granberry. It was one of the options that they offered and it was an absolute for us to put mm -hmm. the laundry room next to our master so I don't have to carry laundry everywhere. Well, and it's right next to the stairs too, so mm -hmm. when your kids have laundry, it's a straight shot yep. to the laundry room. Yep, definitely. And I love this scallop <laughs> tile. It's so pretty. Thank you. We don't see a lot of it, especially in laundry rooms, so I really like that you brought in that navy from the exterior mm -hmm. just into another space. Plus you've got some white cabinets going on here. Look at you branching out. <laughs> Well, we got to have some options. Exactly. And then the proximity to your closet and then your bathroom and room is amazing. Mm -hmm. This makes it so easy to just start your laundry. Yes. You don't have easy. to walk across your house. Yeah, it's all right here. Very centrally located yes. for the basic needs of the house. Mm -hmm. And yeah. this originally is just all open. And again, after the fact, you had all of these customized built-ins yes. added. Yep, we had those added after we moved in. Yeah, I think it turned out great. Thank you, we like it. And then through door number three, we have the your bathroom. bathroom. Let's go check it out. <laughs> okay. Ooh, this is very spa-like. Thank you. I love the tones that you picked. You kind of brought in some more of that navy with the tile in here. Yes. Tell me a little bit about what you wanted for your master bath. So um, in our previous home, we had the grand, huge bathroom with the great mm -hmm. big tub and everything like that. And we decided for this home, we needed something a little bit more practical because we're hoping to do the whole age in place mm -hmm. kind of plan out here. So we had the grab bars put in and um, one of the pictures on the Tilson Gallery had the, the whites and the blues and stuff mm -hmm. like that. So. This particular tile wasn't in the um, selection options, but Eric gave us the name of the people who the tile you guys company, work with yeah. for the tile. And he's like, have at it. So my yeah. husband and I went over to the, the actual showroom there and just dug around until we found it. It looks tile really that we good. Loved. And I love that the tile on the walls matches the tile that you have on the floor. Mm -hmm. And it also kind of ties in with your countertops because it's got that nice kind of streaky look, yep. the quartz. Yep. That looks, it's just very cohesive and very, very relaxing in Thank here. Thank you. I love it. Part of it was we were getting tired of selecting options. So <laughs> we're like, okay, we're done. We're Let's like, pick something. oh, that'll look great on the floor. Just go ahead and yeah. keep putting that all over. So. And then right through here, we've got your bedroom. So let's yeah, check that out. Cool. Okay, so we've got carpet in here. I love that. Yes, I am, a, a I am a carpet girl. Yeah. I love uh, Cozy. the feel of carpet when I get out of bed in the morning. And yeah, this is really nice. So we don't have a lot of carpet because we do have a lot of dogs, but this mm -hmm. was a, a, this was is a your This is your sanctuary. Yes. You get what you want in here. Yes, I do. <laughs> the natural light. Yes. It's incredible. And you have it throughout the entire house, but the windows are just so big. Yes. You don't, I mean, you've got to have blackout shades otherwise. <laughs> It's light all yeah. the time, I'm sure. Yeah, we don't we don't function by the clock mm -hmm. here in uh, the country. We function by the light, and yes. so in the morning the sun wakes us up through these windows. Unless I don't want to get up, and then like you said, we have the blackout <laughs> curtains, and we just pull them shut. But yes, I'm all about the natural light. Yeah. In the city, we didn't. I never felt like we got enough of mm -hmm. it. So out and now here, you've got plenty of it. Yep, we capitalize on it out here. And so. I do want to point out this accent wall that you've got. Mm -hmm. It's such an easy way to elevate your master bedroom area. Yes, it and I love the color. It okay, <laughs> it's more blue. <laughs> <laughs> There's definitely a theme going on. Yep, yep, definitely. Well, let's go check out the foyer. All righty. Okay, so before we head upstairs, I want to point out this really grand entryway. I love this whole space. Thank you. I love it. I, I also like that you did the formal dining in addition to the breakfast area. So mm -hmm. you can have, that's like your normal family area. And then yes. when you do have people over, you've got this nice huge table yes. for everybody to sit at. Yeah, so one of the things that um, 
Eric actually suggested because I already had this furniture and I knew I wanted to bring it out here was to push that wall out a couple feet. Mm -hmm. Well, of course, I love the idea because then it made my closet bigger too. <laughs> okay, so you, you bumped this out and we then, bumped the wall then out. made it symmetrical. Of course. Awesome. Yeah. And then the other thing that we loved about this entry is so the original Granberry had a, um, uh, it was open two stories mm -hmm. and I didn't want to waste that space and so we had uh, Tilson close it in for us so we have that extra little room upstairs for it. Oh, that's really smart. I like that. Well, let's head upstairs. All right. So you've got bonus room? We have bonus room. So when we have guests or the kids are here, mm -hmm. they have a place where they can come and hang out, watch movies. Yeah. And not disturb the parents. Yeah, and you've got, even got storage in the bonus room for all yes. the games and whatever else you want to stuff in there and hide. Yep, games, videos, puzzles. Yeah, all in there. and more light. <laughs> I tell you, it's all about the light. It never ends. And yep. then down here, tell me a little bit about what we've got. So, like I said, we like to entertain, so we wanted this to be very user-friendly for mm -hmm. uh, friends or family that come to stay with us. So we've got nice big bedrooms with extra bedding, you know, beds so they can have mom, dad, and a kid mm -hmm. or, you know, family units in each of it. We set this up with snacks, coffee, beverages, so they can... Yeah, I love this little upstairs They can uh, make themselves at home when they're here in, you know, morning, day, night. Yeah. And then is this what you were talking about downstairs? Yes! So you so, added the flooring and just now you have an extra nook up here. Yes. So eventually will be my craft space so I can crochet or read or whatever. Yeah, whatever you feel like space. doing. Yes. Any, any sort of crafts. And then yes. are all of the other bedrooms up here? Uh, yeah, so there's three bedrooms up here. They're all about the same size, nice mm -hmm. and big um, to accommodate, like I said, family units or um, you know teenagers yeah. that need their space. So. <laughs> so on our way out, I would like to peek in one of these rooms. Right okay, there. you can do this one in here. So these are the bedrooms, or one of the bedrooms up here. Mm -hmm. They're all pretty much the same size, so there's no disagreement amongst the kids on who gets the bigger bedroom. Oh, that makes it easy. <laughs> so it does, but there's lots of room for extra beds. All of these rooms have great closet spaces, mm -hmm. so for storage or guests that stay for a long time, so they yeah. can get comfy and make themselves at home. Plus even more big windows. More big light. windows. Um, uh, a friend that we had staying just a couple weeks ago intentionally moved the bed here mm -hmm. so when she lays in bed at night she could see all the gorgeous stars Aww, because you just don't see I them in that. the city and they're just huge out here in the country so. yeah you really do have that country escape yes truly well let's head on back downstairs i do want to check out a couple more things before i okay. get out of your hair okay okay so this is an awesome little area that you added Yes, so um, when the kids are out dirt biking and getting all muddy and stuff like this, this mm -hmm. is a place where they can drop their shoes and their hats and all that and not try to leave the mud else. over here in the drop zone. Yeah, it, that's really nice. And then, uh, so then, bath? yeah, so there's a half bath there, another, you know, so if the kids need to use the restroom when they're mm -hmm. outside getting all gross like kids do sometimes, they can have easy access to a bathroom. Yeah. And, and then easy right outside the door again. And were these built in something that you knew that you wanted or was that just recommended by Eric? That is a great question. Eric came up with a lot of great suggestions for yeah. us, so that might have been an Eric thing. I'm, yeah, I cannot he's say full for of sure. good ideas. He is, <laughs> he is. He, uh, we would dream it and he would be like, let me just put that yeah. together for and you. And I do like the combination of the black with the white because the white kind of ties in the cabinets from the rest of the house and the black ties in the cabinets from the kitchen. Okay. Never nice. thought about that, but I thanks. Like it. <laughs> <laughs> and then this, I don't even know if you could classify this as a pantry because this is a food closet. Uh, a yeah. massive food closet. <laughs> yep, this was another uh, kind of Eric creation. We um, are hoping to build a greenhouse in the fall, and I said I need lots of storage. Mm -hmm. And I'm not big on going to the grocery store every day. So yeah. He's like, okay, well, let's just make room for that. And then I think we even said, mm, maybe a little bit more. And so he backed the wall up make a little it bigger. more. Yep. No, this is this is amazing. And then again, after the fact, you kind of wanted to utilize as much space as you could. So I love the built-ins that you added. Yep. Thank you. Yeah, it was really fun to put that together, and we had some good helpers. Yeah. Well, let's go check out the rest of the outside. All right. Okay. Here we go. Okay. I love this look. This is nice. 
You've got kind of the breezeway that goes to your garage instead of just having it right off yep. the house. So when I bring my groceries home from the HEB, I <laughs> don't have to get out in the sun. The good old HEB. <laughs> And I just, yeah, so, I mean, like the weather's not a huge factor here, but the sun is, and mm -hmm. so it just kind of keeps it a little bit protected when we're moving around. Yeah, and even when it's raining, I mean, you've got the cover. This is yeah. really nice. Was yeah, there a the reason cover. that you opted for the detached garage with the breezeway? Um, that was all my husband and Eric. Yeah. They, they decided that was the best option uh, because of the size of the garage and how it would match up with the house mm -hmm. and safety, safety, safety. It's safer safety to have the garage separate from the mm -hmm. house. So. Yeah, I love that. Let's go check out the back patio. Yeah, that's my favorite. <laughs> All right, this patio space is amazing. It's, it's a favorite. Yeah. This is where we gather with friends, family, most of the year. So. so tell me a little bit about this area. I mean, you've got this ceiling that's got the, the wood on it. That looks really neat. Yep. And Thank this you. huge fireplace. Yeah, we knew we wanted a great outdoor space to entertain with mm -hmm. and to relax. And so my husband and the land stakeout guy um, talked about where it would be best to capture the wind and um, just to make it the most comfortable for the most part of the year. Mm -hmm. And so this is how they decided to orient the house so we would catch the perfect wind. and. It blows the bugs through. You blows don't have bugs, to worry about that heat. wind slamming into your house either, especially yep. if it gets a little stormy. Yeah. So, and then did you know that you wanted to have this outdoor fireplace? So the option for the Granberry to have a fireplace added inside just didn't work for us. Mm -hmm. um, we would have to give up windows, and I'm not a give up a window kind of girl. And we, didn't, we knew we didn't want it to take up that wall because it's really the only big wall space mm -hmm. we have. So uh, Eric's like, well, why not an outside fireplace? And yeah. so we're like, yeah. So you still got everything that you wanted for your house. You just rearranged a couple things. <laughs> Moved it outside. So, I love yeah. it. Well, thank you so much for allowing me to come and invade your house and <laughs> just kind of my make myself at home. You've been very welcoming and accommodating. Yeah. So thank yeah, we you love for our that. Tilson. We brag about it every chance yes. we get. And we do love your Cinderella. <laughs> yes. Can't, can't forget about that. <laughs> But thank you again, and okay. thank all of you as well for tuning in to another episode of Tilson Live Home Tours. We hope to someday soon make you part of the Tilson family.